Hi and welcome to another video here at Betty Loves Rick's channel. Today I want to show you guys uh, a little piece of my modular Hogwarts castle. It is the set called Chamber of Secrets. I love this set because you get to build the actual Chamber of Secrets from the second book, second movie. And I mean, who doesn't love that second book? I mean, there are spiders. There is a huge snake basilisk. You get to see a younger version of Voldemort. It is a great book. It is a great story and I am so glad that we got to recreate it with this Lego set. It is a very big set so you will get a lot of uh, rooms uh, relating to the Harry Potter uh, castle. So let's have a look. So this is what the exterior of the Chamber of Secrets Lego set looks like. You can immediately recognize the great halls where everybody goes to dine. Uh, underneath it there's a lot of gray brick, dark gray brick and it has like stone uh, which basically represents the castle being sunken into the ground. Uh, and then here you have this tower, it's just, it just looks so great because all the windows have the same sort of colors and paneling. You can immediately recognize this as one set. I really love it and I love the fact that, that the roofs are have this green color because uh, Lego used to have like gray uh, rooftops with the with the older castles but the modular castles which they have been creating in the past few years they all have this green roofs green tiling and I absolutely love that color and I mean just look at it doesn't that just look amazing so first off let me tell you something about the characters the minifigures that you get with this set you get Harry Potter who comes with two faces he also holds the Gryffindor sword which he needs in his battle against the basilisk you get a Ginny Weasley, who opens the Chamber of Secrets. And lovely Ginny also has this face that is a little bit sad, actually. And little Ginny has Tom Riddle's diary. You also get little Colin, another Gryffindor, who loves to take pictures with his camera. Then you get Justin Flinch Fetchley, the boy who got attacked by the snake. Uh, Justin is from Hufflepuff. And with this set, you also get Luna Lovegood who's from Ravenclaw. Now, although Luna wasn't introduced in the movies until later parts, you still get her with this set. So you have a nice collection of uh, students here. But with this set, you also get young Voldemort, or actually Tom Riddle, who comes with two faces. You get Professor Gilderoy Lockhart, who also has two faces. And I mean, look at these two gentlemen, look at their attire. <laughs> it looks so good. You get Professor Dumbledore, in his tall robe and the professor also has two faces but you can hardly see the difference because of his long beard. You get Professor Aurora Sinistra who teaches astronomy who also has two faces. That dress robe really looks so nice. So you get four teachers with this set which I think is great because my Hogwarts can always use more teachers. You also get Nearly Headless Snake, one of the Hogwarts ghosts he actually is a glow-in-the-dark piece and he also has two faces but he, sh he definitely had to be in this set because he played an important part. There are 10 minifigures with this set and as you can see the kids are actually a little bit smaller than the teachers are. Mind you this, is, this set is based on the second book and the second movie and the students were very young here so they all have adjusted tiny legs to make them look smaller than the teachers. I love this about Lego. They really thought about that. And let's not forget with this set you also get... Here he goes. Ooh. Yes, did you see him? Did you catch him? You also get that basilisk, which probably is my favorite part of this whole set. Now let's go take a look at the inside. Turn it around. And this is what the interior looks like. As you can see, there's this gray base layer here, which has to represent like this part being underground. And because the, the castle itself has all these tan colored tiles to make a very distinct um, definition between what's taking place above ground and what's taking place below. I'm gonna start with this tower so uh, here at the top you can see there is the astronomy astronomy room uh, this is the the classroom for professor Sinistra 
Um, I do have to say I feel like her space is a little bit cramped but what you can also do because this is a modular set you can also just take this off do it like this and you will actually have a bigger classroom if you like but you can also come up with your own creation that's what I love about Lego and just zooming into the details here so you have this tower you have an extra small tower here it is an owl and here there is this astronomy book or guide there's a telescope yeah, I think uh, even for such a small piece it's a lot of details and I really like it so that is Professor Sinistra's place and then if I go a little bit further down these two actually go together because as you can see this is the classroom of Gilderoy Lockhart if there is one thing you will immediately notice is that this guy is so full of himself. You can see there's a lot of pictures and paintings of himself, not just in his classroom, but also in his office. In his office, there's a stack of fan mail to get uh, his signature and to be posted to fans. There's an extra wig. And if you take a look at his classroom, so you got like a nice little spell book over here. And there are a couple of pixies. Do you remember when the pixies broke loose and they created all sorts of havoc in his classroom I mean look at him uh, I think this is such a great addition to the set because this professor plays such a huge role in the second uh, book second movie and then when you go all the way to the bottom there is a slide and there's some bones on the ground and a even a little frog this is of course where you kind of enter into the Chamber of Secrets. They come sliding down. Um, to my taste, we could have used a bit more bones around here. Their feet were covered in bird bones and, and everything. It was, you know, for my taste, there could have been more bones here. Uh, but as you can see, you're also missing something. You're missing the actual entrance to the chamber. But I will come back to that later. Then over here you have these additional parts, which looks amazing just, you know, by itself. But it is the actual entrance gate or door where Sweet Harry has to say something in parcel tongue. And it magically opens up the door into the Chamber of Secrets. So then we go to the second building, like I told you before, on the outside you could immediately recognize the Great Hall. And that is also what you will find inside. Uh, it's a recreation of the Great Hall where all the students gather, where they sit down, have a meal together, where Dumbledore, where Dumbledore addresses the school when there's novelties or things to be shared with everyone. But it is also the place where the Sorting Hat sort you into your house upon arrival at Hogwarts. So this hall, this great hall has a very big part to play throughout all the books and the day-to-day -day lives of all the students going to Hogwarts. It is the place where the house ghosts fly in and out all the time and you get to build this little breakfast table setting where the kids can actually come together, sit down and enjoy their breakfasts. And I mean, just look at those breakfast cereals. Cheerios, Pixie Puffs, a croissant, have a, have a cup of tea, maybe a biscuit. I really like this great hall. Plus, that back table can be used to play out the dueling scenes and where the snake tries to attack little Justin. But just do this and... I love those little details and if you have a look at the top here and then the ceiling always looks like it's open and behind here there's a banner here of all four houses. This is the place where you store that sorting hat that you get with this set. And then we make our way all the way to the bottom where the actual Chamber of Secrets is. As you can see, there are some uh, snake statues up here, but you can easily take those out. Let me do it in the correct way. You can put them right here because when Harry first entered the Chamber of Secrets, I, I remember that very long row of snake statues. It looked so awesome to see that Chamber of Secrets. I think they did a great job on recreating Salazar's head. And the mouth can actually open up on the back side or actually front side. Here, these arms can open and you can take this little piece of rock out. 
and there's like a secret place to stash your stuff here. There is a basilisk tooth here because it's so tiny you might otherwise just lose it but this is a great way to store and by taking this bit out the mouth actually opens up and out comes the basilisk. Look at him. But fortunately you get the sword of Gryffindor with this set so Harry can actually beat that basilisk and with that basilisk tooth he can finally beat Voldemort. And then once you are done you can just put everything back into place. You can put the tooth back into its storing place. You can actually put Tom Riddle's diary in here or even Tom Riddle himself if you want. Let's not forget the sword of Gryffindor before closing it up. So that is all the contents of the Chamber of Secrets set from the Harry Potter Hogwarts modular collections. I think this is an amazing set. It is a huge set. So this set is 40 centimeters high, 40 centimeters wide. It's quite a big set. It's basically a four story set. So yeah, pretty big. And it has 1176 pieces. 10 minifigures and recommended for ages 9 and higher. The sales price of this set is 150 bucks, 150 euros. But because this is an older set, you can probably get it on discount somewhere. But I think it is an amazing set. Not only get that Chamber of Secrets, you get that fantastic Great Hall. You get Professor Smallheart classroom and office and you get an astronomy a tower basically to go with it. This is such a beautiful set and this set will actually give you a very large chunk of a modular Hogwarts castle. Plus you get nearly headless Nick the ghost, you get a basilisk to go with it and you get Tom Riddle. There is so much included in this set and I would totally recommend it even for 150 bucks. I would if you want to build your Hogwarts castle this is a very big piece, a very big key piece to that castle. But if you really want to do it correctly, you are in fact missing a very essential piece to the Chamber of Secrets, which I'm going to tell you guys more about in my next video. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of my videos, if you want to see the sequel to this video. Um, and let me know what you think of this set. Are you also a fan of Harry Potter? Are you a fan of the Chamber of Secrets? I really, really like it. But let me know what you think of it, okay? Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.